Cassidy McCowan, the mechanic prodigy who captured our hearts on Rust Valley Restores, is now forging her own path in the world of automotive restoration. Although it's been months since we last saw a new episode of Rust Valley Restores, Cassidy hasn't slowed down. Instead, she's embraced her newfound fame, launching a YouTube channel that pulls viewers into her world as she revives forgotten classics and turns them into automotive masterpieces. Join us as we uncover where her journey has taken her, how her career has evolved, and some surprising facts you might not know about Cassidy McCowan. Cassidy McCowan's story begins in Cherryville, North Carolina, where she was born on December 21st, 2000, to a family with a long history of mechanics. With both parents working as mechanics, Cassidy's fascination with cars ignited almost as soon as she could speak. But it wasn't just a passing interest, it was a passion that drove her every step of the way. Despite being born stateside, Cassidy's education took her to Canada, where she attended AL Fortune Secondary School in British Columbia. Her passion for cars drove her to Okanagan College, where she delved into auto collision repair. But Cassidy wasn't content with just a diploma. She sought to master her craft. She honed her skills further through an apprenticeship at Prestige Collision Vernon, pushing herself to the limits of what she could learn. Cassidy was super passionate about cars and eager to obtain all the necessary knowledge she could about them. In August 2020, all her hard work paid off when she earned her Red Seal certification, a national standard in auto body tech. But for Cassidy, this was only just the beginning. Cassidy went from being just another mechanic to a reality star when she was introduced in the second episode of the first season of Rust Valley Restores. Cassidy was only 17 at the time, but she had the talent and courage to go after what she wanted. To get herself on Rust Valley Restores, Cassidy sent her resume to Rust Bros right when they were looking for people to appear in the yet-to-be premiere TV show in 2018. Cassidy's mother had come up with the idea while reading the local newspaper. At the time, Cassidy was just a year into her apprenticeship program at Okanagan College, but her mother was confident that Cassidy was the ideal candidate for Rust Valley Restores and would go on to become a role model for other women in the automobile industry. Despite the leap of courage and impressive resume, Cassidy still went through numerous rounds of interviews after contacting Mike Hall in the shop before the producers decided she would appear on the episode. As a cast member of Rust Valley Restores, Cassidy wasn't just some assistant. She fit right into the show and quickly became a fan favorite. Unlike most teenagers her age, Cassidy's mechanic skills were quite evident. She also exhibited her enthusiasm for cars and her ability to learn very quickly. Mike Hall didn't have to think twice about keeping her at his shop and on the cast of Rust Valley Restores for the long term. This proved to be an awesome move for both Cassidy and Mike Hall because she brought a breath of fresh air to the show and was given a chance to thrive in a profession that's mostly dominated by men. Speaking about her experience working with Mike and the Rust Bros, Cassidy had this to say. I absolutely love working with Mike. He is my favorite boss so far. However, not everything about working at Rust Bros was rosy. She also had this to say. My least favorite thing about this job is spending like three days sanding a car and it looks the same as it did three days before. Despite being a wrench monkey, Cassidy didn't have a driving license when she showed up on Rust Valley Restores. In her debut episode, Mike Hall asked Cassidy to go pick up some car parts he needed, but Cassidy revealed she didn't have a driver's license. Mike told her that she would need a driver's license if she wanted to work with Rust Bros, and Cassidy agreed to get one. In that same episode, the viewers got to watch Mike and Avery provide driving lessons to Cassidy, and somehow she managed to pass the driving test. Hey, now, when you let the clutch up, when it starts to grab, Hammer it. Okay. <laughs> but it took her three tries to do it. How does someone who loves cars so much struggle to get a driver's license? Well, these things just happen. Rust Valley Restores aired its last episode in 2022, and since then we've stopped seeing Cassidy McCowan on the big screen. There have been questions about whether she still works with Rust Bros. We can confirm that Cassidy still works with Mike Hall because she recently posted videos to her YouTube channel that feature Mike and Avery. Now that we've established that Cassidy still worked with Mike Hall and Rust Bros, the question of what she's been up to all this while remains unanswered. Since Rust Valley Restores stopped airing, Cassidy has pushed her career forward, sharing her progress with her fans on social media. She has amassed almost 120,000 followers on Instagram, and she constantly updates them with posts about what she's up to. In April, she posted a video on her Instagram channel, asking her fans to sign up for her subscription to get a better look into her daily life 
and behind the scenes videos from Rust Bros. Cassidy also has a TikTok account with over 166,000 followers and 1.4 million likes. She focuses on car centered content, like tutorials on painting jobs, hammering, welding, and divulging relevant information related to the car business and car parts. But she also just posts fun videos, jumps on trends, and sometimes has her co workers at Rust Bros appear in some of her videos. The car show is like right on the same street as our hotel, right too. Here, yeah, it's gonna be all here. A rock and band playing tonight. Nice. So make sure you come down, guys. Fred Rod. Aside from Instagram and TikTok, Cassidy also has a YouTube channel, which she just launched. In her first video, she took her viewers to a demolition derby with Mike and Avery present. On her YouTube channel, Cassidy posts car content but also vlogs about her trips and fun outings like fishing. She also used the channel to reveal her new shop while confirming that Rust Valley Resorts will be back for a fifth season. This shop is a huge milestone for Cassidy as she had always wanted to start her own business with her mother. Before getting the shop, her mother had been encouraging her to start a bike mechanical shop that they could run together. And while it still seems to be a work in progress, she seems to be getting closer to achieving her dream. When she's not working, Cassidy likes to go fishing and also loves spending time in nature. She's a huge dog lover, and she owns a pit bull called Sierra that's always featured in her videos. With only 19 videos uploaded to her channel as of the time this video is being made, Cassidy has amassed almost 10,000 subscribers. She took advantage of her social media following to launch an online shop called Resto Broad, where she lists merchandise like t-shirts, hoodies, and accessories that are all her original designs for sale. Although Cassidy makes some money off her merchandise, she also gets paid for her appearance on Rust Valley Restores. It's common knowledge that reality TV doesn't just grant quick fame, it also comes with a pretty nice paycheck. But for Cassidy, the paycheck isn't as great as most people would think. Cassidy revealed in a video she shared on social media that the pay she gets from Rust Valley Resorts isn't extraordinary. She made the video in response to a fan who asked how much she earned from the show since some reality TV stars earn up to $30,000 per episode. Cassidy explained that while Mike and Avery do earn a little bit more than everyone else on the show, her wages are pretty average and on the lower side of the industry standard. She points out that the reason is because the show is a Canadian show that doesn't make as much money as American shows. Canadian TV, there's just not that amount of funds in it. American TV is, um, there's way more money into it, so. Cassidy confirms that Canadian television is less profitable than the US industry, resulting in very different labor circumstances. She also mentions that one of the few benefits she and her co-stars receive for appearing on the show is discounts on car parts and other sponsorships. According to Cassidy, working at Mike's business isn't primarily about the money, as her income is modest and on par with the industry average. What keeps her committed to the team at Rust Bros goes beyond money. It's the invaluable knowledge and experience she gains from working alongside Mike.